Hello gamers, uh, today I'm going to show you how to, how I make my audio sound like absolute crap in the 2009 videos. It's a uh, question I get asked quite a lot, um, especially on the Party Rockers video. And uh, also some people had some questions on how I make my voice sound like a kid again for the ones where you use, like say the Sumatora video for example. Oh yeah, hello, I'm just walking here. Um, and many others where I go and scream in the microphone. So I want to get into the nitty gritty details today. It's actually pretty simple for the most part, especially with the music part of it. It's really simple. But yeah, so for example, I've got this Newgrounds track. It's from the game Ragdoll Invaders, if anyone's played that. And, uh, yeah, it's a pretty good sounding audio track, right? Good quality. So I'm going to show you how I make it sound distorted, like as if it's really from 2007 and 2008. And the real way to do it is just to do the same what all, every YouTube kid uploader did back 10 years ago. Um, they would just download a low quality um, or a low sample rate song and just drag it into Movie Maker. And that was it. So uh, we're going to replicate that. So for example, here's our little song again. Sounds too great. Now if I go resample, this is where just the main step is it's just we can change to about this is usually the lowest quality you can get mp3s and stuff at. when I did the party rockers video I think I did 4,000 or something ridiculously low but for this example I'm just gonna do yeah 11025 so I'll hit enter on that and you'll notice now it's starting to sound like music from a 2005 flash game. So we can also adjust the project rate to the same thing on the end. And all I do from there is I just export it. So if I go back in here, I'll go low quality MP3. I'll just leave it at the standard speed, whatever. I don't change anything there. And that's it. So now we have the low quality audio. But it doesn't have that, like, I don't know what the audio equivalent of pixelated is, or like nearest neighbor. It, it sounds like a bilinear filter sort of MP3, which is how most things play it by default. But Windows XP, like, with most of the software that came with it, like Sound Recorder, Movie Maker, and I guess some MP3 converter from that time, if you copied a low hertz audio into the mix, and then saved it, it would actually sound, it would upscale it in this funny way. I'll, I'll demonstrate that. So if I go to Movie Maker, say I'm going to drag the low quality MP3 in here. There we are. You see, it sounds a lot different to how it sounds in Audacity. Plus, sometimes what I do as well, depending on the audio, is I do distort it more by boosting the gain. But, yeah. It just has a different vibe to it. Now, if you don't have um, Movie Maker to do this effect or the old XP version of Sound Recorder, there's another way I, I found out a couple years ago and I basically stole the script of some obscure Audacity page on the forum. And Anyway, that's what we're going to use. Uh, so to recreate that Movie Maker vibe, we're going to use another script that upscales the audio like how Windows XP does it. So. At the moment, we've got our audio set to 11025, so I'll go on the source rate for the script, comment out whatever 4000 I had from Party Rockers, I think that's been unchanged for a while, and uh, use that. We'll hit OK. Wait for it a little bit, and you'll notice it's actually made it in slow motion. So to fix that, we can just go to the tab, hit rate, hit full one. That, that's basically the default and the standard today. I'll do that here as well. And there you go. 
now it sounds pretty much just like how it sounds in uh, Moody Maker. So if I compare them side by side, like say, I guess I'll have um, Biolinear on the right here and Nearest Neighbor, I guess, on the left, where... versus this, you can tell there's a big difference and I, I reckon if you want your video to have that 2007 to 2010 sort of vibe, you, you gotta have that sort of effect. It's If I zoom onto it, I can show you how it works with the waveforms, like you can see it's actually, everything's got like a little square on it, it just upscales it in I guess a pixelated way for audio. If I do that, zoom into these, it's all smooth, which is why they sound so drastically different. But anyway, uh, next thing I'm going to show is how I do the um, the voice, because that, that's probably one of my favorite things about that 2009 channel, is just fucking around with the voice. So um, I'm just using this like stick microphone from Audio Technica. Um, I think it was about 70 bucks when I bought it, and the, the best part about it is I can scream into it, because um, it's on a stick. So I can just go like, hey guys, um, today I'm gonna show you how to play um, interactive buddy um, on Windows XP. I don't know, that'll do. Let's um, we'll see how it sounds. Um, today I'm gonna. Sounds kind of crazy, right? How... Anyway. Um, so yeah, what I'm going to do, uh, just up the gain on that, increase the pitch a little bit, like I've done it by 12% with the tick box selected there. Today I'm going to show you how to play. Um... Now it definitely doesn't sound legit, but when you down, like when you make the quality shit, then it actually starts to sound kind of legit. So let's, uh, what we'll do is the same sort of effect we did before with the audio. We'll mark it down to that hertz rate. And uh, we'll do the same prompt thing with the script. Change it back. See how that sounds. Um, today I'm going to show you how to play um, interactive buddy. It doesn't sound too bad. So next step we're going to make <laughs> the audio only come in the left channel because i've seen this happen in an awful amount of videos where they have like a mono microphone but for whatever reason the stereo part of the microphone is just like white noise or brown noise so after i do that i make a new track a stereo track then just go generate noise i change it to brownian that'll probably do um, today I'm gonna show you how to play, um, there we go. Interact I put most of it on the right channel, but all of the talking on the left channel only. And that's, that's basically um, all I do there. Today, a, um, interactive buddy, um, on Windows XP. That's it. That's, that's your audio. So, um, I guess, uh, I hope this tutorial helped you make some shitty Movie Maker Hypercan videos. Um, well, that's, that's really all there is to it. Alright, enjoy!